All right, episode 89, done and done. Yes. Just want to give a quick shout out to Sangjin at Anbu Tattoo Studio in Ossington Station. It's like two minute walk from there. Uh, if you're looking for some dope fine line or black tattoo, hit this guy up. Cool. Yeah, it's at S A N G J I N dot T T T on Instagram. Very responsive. Um, there are very few people that can hit that very zen-like state when they're when they're doing something, and you can definitely feel it with this dude. Mm-hmm. Very knowledgeable. I like it. I like it. Nice. Yeah. So um, that was an ad that was not placed in our uh, top banner. No. But that was worthwhile. Okay. Anyways, so we talk about some cool stuff. Vish, was your favorite part from this episode? Um, the number thirteen. Number thirteen. What? Article 13. Oh, Article 13. I was like, number 13. <laughs> Just, I remember that. Yeah, that, that was a good one. I definitely, I definitely um, cried during that. Yeah, Fuck. I like talking about Cowboy Bebop. This feels like some, like, Cowboy this, Bebop, like... Oh, perfect time. Did you hear him just say like, Cowboy yes, Bebop on the track? Yeah, yeah, that's why I chose the song, so um, get ready for some societal dissension. You know that, that episode when he, like, fucking... Cool. Here we go. He fought that, like, floating dude with all the guns and shit, and he almost died. It was, like, in this, like, weird, like, world and shit. Yeah, this feels like that. Three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is your weekly roundup. We're talking about four things from the week that we thought were cool, and we dissect them as Vish plays video games. You may notice that we're playing a new video game. No, it's old. Uh, old video game, but not. it's new in terms of it's not Apex Legends <laughs> yeah. that we've been playing. We've switched video games. Basically, uh, the rendering is crazy, so we need something with simpler graphics. <laughs> What's up with this game, Mitchell? What's it called? Rhyme, I think. Oh, what's the general? Rhyme? I don't know. What's just the puzzles. general objective? Just oh, just puzzles? All right, cool, cool. So if you're wondering, hey, where's the Apex Legends? Did they stop playing it? No, we don't. We didn't stop playing it. Vish is still obsessed with playing. I mean, I'm more playing. playing it, yeah. I got the battle pass for that game, so. Yeah, and uh, if you checked out our stories, they recently had a sleepover playing some Apex Legends with my sister. It's funny. Yeah. Anyways, so first on the docket, Vish. Okay, it's related to gaming and Google. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's up? Uh, Google announced uh, something they're they're doing. I, they, I think last week was the Game Developers Conference. Okay. Cool. That's awesome. And it's called Google Stadia. Okay. I, I in my opinion, I don't really like the name. Like Stadia, like Stadium? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess so. I don't know what the meaning is. Um, basically, it's a new streaming video gaming platform. Oh, it's like Steam? No. Oh, it's not like Steam, okay. Because Steam, you download the game and you play. Oh, so it's like Netflix for gaming. Haven't we talked about that for a while? Remember because it was like, oh, we need renting? Y- yeah. Yeah. So it's like that. It's Netflix for so you. Do, so do you get all games or just like certain games that Google has licenses to? That's pretty sick. I'm actually excited well, about Well, I one. mean, I think with Google and their money, they will get the licenses that they need. True. That makes sense. Right. Uh, so basically, yeah, they create a single platform where you can play on, on any device that you have. Only one thing you need, the one peripheral that you need is their... Google controller. Okay. Remote like the like a PlayStation type controller. Okay, okay. So you can play Xbox games on this thing, you can play PlayStation games on this thing. Uh, is it computer? Like what what's the console? Mm, or is most there... likely like PC generally. I don't think PlayStation would give them That's what I was thinking. I was like, wait, what do you mean you could play any Okay, I get what you're saying. So basically it's a computer um streaming service but you need their controller to play the game yeah so the controller right. is connected to your wi-fi oh that's cool so that way you can hop on an ipad go to their web website or whatever and, and wow. run the game or hop on on the computer go to the website and okay run the that's game. pretty sick that's hop pretty on an iphone or whatever phone and so you just need a screen basically you just need a screen that's sick okay true but then but how then, do save games work it's all the same thing it's all one you're playing off their 
server servers yeah okay so it it really takes no memory so you're literally just no, streaming you're just streaming wow that's when does it come out i would in, i would purchase this this is this sounds like an investment well it takes time but i don't know when it's going to come out but maybe this later this year you know okay but that's cool the thing is but what games are they going to start with you know well the one they were i don't know uh, but they were they were what they were showing off was assassin's creed nice okay on the thing and um but one thing is you need is high speed internet. Yeah, of course, whatever. Right, that, that's the general understanding. I think everybody should. But how high is high speed? You know what I'm saying? You know, get the highest that you can. Yeah. So, but I mean, like, it's not like. No, they put a they put a like a certain limit. I forgot what the speed was. But it's not like you need the the highest of the highest. It'll just, no, you like, don't need the highest of the like highest. Three hundred and sixty. But, but if but generally, if you're you know, a lot of people we share the Wi-Fi, right? Mm-hmm. So. It's always good. To have more than what they say. Maybe yeah, yeah. Wise, right? but whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's, fine. that's fine. Especially if you're like tethered, you're fine. The thing is, it'll work for yeah, mainly the city areas that we're in, generally. Not oh, not the suburbs. I don't like uh, no, no no suburbs. I, I would say yeah, but like rural areas will not. They they have right. uh, problems with internet access there. Actually, it's not that easily. For those speeds, not easily gainable. Anyway, so it's all it's all cloud based. Yeah, that's the word they were using. Cloud based gaming, no need for these bulky consoles. Mm. I, I knew this was gonna come. Uh, this was where, even what Xbox was trying to think of doing. When they first announced the Xbox One, mm-hmm. to have no, um, like all cloud based basically. Mm-hmm. But there was a huge complaint at that time because. I think it was just too early. They kind of brought that idea a bit too early, and caused people like uh, like it affected Xbox a lot. Oh, okay. From people wanting to buy it or not, yeah. Hmm. But, That's cool. Uh, uh, so twenty four seven. That's what's everything. So twenty four seven access, warehouse, or and watching or playing video games across. All these sort of systems, laptops, TVs, even on TVs. That's, yeah. that's pretty sick. So any, so that's what I'm saying. Chromecast. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you'd use probably use their Chromecast too. Yeah. And then, yeah, you're just buying the controller. Don't know how much the price of the controller is, but it's like two thousand dollars. <laughs> well, no, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. But because they, then they will have ships and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know they can't do that two thousand dollars. Yeah, no way yeah, that'll that'll work. That'd be too nuts. Yeah. Still sick though. Damn, I like that a lot. Yeah, I think it's, and then it's like they. I think on the controllers, like you can share right away or stream it, and then all, all like it's all ready for those kind of thing, those kind of things that they want to do. But it's, it would be now a new platform that's getting into video games. That's sick, right? I like that a lot. Like when Microsoft came out, mm-hmm. now we've got Google coming out. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting time for video games yeah, yeah for yeah. sure no no that's that's really cool i think well one thing we were saying yesterday is if you pair the uh if you've seen the hollow lens have you did i show you that i think so hollow lens video <clears throat> so it's basically like a vr headset and uh i think that like if you put it on and then you can see your friends on the couch too oh, and then right. it brings back co- yeah. couch co-op mm-hmm. like i see a lot of potential for this mm-hmm I think video games are the future. Like, when we were kids and then it first came out, who would have thought that it would have gotten this far? I mean, I see you playing that Final Fantasy and seeing even the graphics how far. <laughs> yeah, but it's but, still good for me. Like, right. I'm playing them like, yeah, it looks like the game that you're playing right now to me. Like, it's more polygonish than, uh, like, yeah. every detail. Obviously, like, this is, like, they're going for that old school art style. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But obviously it's more polished, mm-hmm. but... It's still polygon related to the point that, like, in my head, it's like, oh, it's kind of similar. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. I, yeah. Who would have thought that we would have gotten this far? I think that's that's pretty impressive for video games. Like, we saw the potential for it, and it's, like, really being pushed further mm-hmm. because of, like, like, it's like we haven't even tapped into its true potential yet. No. You know what I'm saying? No. Because all virtual reality, uh, all video games are just, like, virtual augmentations. Mm-hmm. And they just, like, feed you different like sensory inputs yeah you know so if you really look at video games of what they do they just stimulate your like your imagination your hormones and um yeah give you like a 
mm-hmm. like a experience, right? So yeah, it's like, but yeah. that you're you're just hijacking my consciousness, mm-hmm. my my active awareness yeah, 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 right yeah, now. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's like there's so much potential with that. We could have complete worlds, like in a uh, Ready Player One. Remember, like they lived in a crappy yeah. place and then they put on their headset and then. We were saying that too. Remember you and I before like Ready mm. Player One came out and how it's like you can live like a crappy life and then just have video games and like you, you're yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like GTA Five. Yeah. That's why I love GTA Five. I had like a crazy apartment. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I realized when we got this apartment, I was like, oh my God, I'm living GTA Five now. Right. You know? Anyways. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, I think it's, it's good to see. Uh, like my only... I mean, there's so many things that they still need to address, yeah. I guess. Mm-hmm. Or, for instance, like, like playing Apex Legends all online, and you need to have a good, like, where there's no lag, no. Like, those are some of the things mm-hmm. that they, they would need to, um, uh, fig- or like, you know, figure out and make sure for that sure. Yeah, before yeah. people get Definitely. into it, that it meets all those requirements, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But overall, I generally I think that's a cool, cool idea. Yeah, I really like it too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna switch my. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna switch my topics around, and I'll save my one that I was gonna talk about now for the end. Okay. Um. So, you're you're done with yours. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so I've been reading a lot of books lately about mm. like, well, not lately, but over time, about like, human nature, mm-hmm. in terms of like how we choose to procreate okay and now we have like so if you look at the game which is all about like getting with other people Mm. and then you look at the truth it's all about different types of like um relationships like polyamory is a big one right now oh you heard of that yep yep i heard of that um and then there's the truth no sorry i just said that uh there's the state of affairs which is like why people cheat okay and it's like if you if you look at humans as an animal, mm. okay, we've been doing animal tendencies for so long. Yeah. We just need an appropriate way to explain it. Mm-hmm. So like things like homosexuality and like having multiple partners, yeah. that's not weird to me. No, like because it's like it obviously is weird when you're a kid because you're like okay societally that's not supposed to make sense. Yeah, the time. because because that's what we knew, right? But then if you actually delve into like history that's very common yeah you know even even things like pedophilia which is okay. like i'll remember that you like comments <laughs> <weird. laughs> uh, what was that our the apple home no that's google HomePod. home pod yeah is uh picking up that's kind of freaky that's probably how advertising starts yeah they can cure us all the time i'm just saying anyways that's how google does it that's how google does it yeah, yeah, yeah. um but so <laughs> so back, back to it um even even like like pedophilia which is like super negative and they're like oh in hollywood there's so much pedophilia going on i'm like yeah but how long has the entertainment industry been around with like people in power and stuff Mm. they've been doing this for a long time i'm not trying to like make an excuse for it you know it's terrible yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm just saying if you look at humans as like a species Mm. it's almost like but this is how they've been doing it for so long yeah like people with lots of money like emperors had like slaves like Mm -hmm. sex slaves which were female and male oh yeah yeah. yeah. you know what I mean? like in the greeks had them the romans had them mm-hmm. very common very. in like uh even hindu religions like yeah there's like homosexuality pedophilia all that stuff so it's like we're trying to lump ourselves into a box mm-hmm. so this is how i see society we try and lump ourselves into a box of we think that's not right so we're like okay let's not do that anymore yeah but then now we're like we're having these urges where people are like, "Oh, I think we should, you know, like we like I think it's okay to have multiple partners." But it's like, yeah, of course it's okay to have multiple partners. I'm, I'm not saying me. I'm saying like humans. Yeah. Like they're they're just living their tendencies. Like, oh, this is my authentic self. Mm-hmm. Like I should have multiple partners. Mm-hmm. Be polyamorous, right? And it's like you should if that's for you, because. That's normal in human nature. Yeah. I think consensually, it's fine. Like, if you both consent to it, it's like... But then where do you draw the line? Because mm-hmm. it's like, all right, what about children? You know, they can't consent. But it's like, don't look at it like you're doing something wrong. Look at what propagated the behavior in the beginning. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. like, but historically we've been doing it for so long. So it's like, why look negatively upon this stuff? Mm-hmm. It's more like, we just don't do that anymore. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. what I'm saying is like, take away the reprimand and just be like, I understand that's how we've done it in the past, but like with technology, do you still like brush your teeth with mm-hmm. a twig? You know what I mean? We use a toothbrush now. So it's like just things have changed is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we try and like justify our tendencies. So now there's all these movements, mm-hmm. you know. I think even like um, like different – like this is a pretty sensitive subject, but like when people are like um, race and gender um, dissociated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're like, I'm not this – Mm. I'm not actually a man, I'm actually a woman. Or, like, I'm not actually a human, I'm actually a fox. Right. You know, I love that fox kin one. But it's like, no, we've been thinking about those things for so long. Like, people have always been, like, I am the descendant of God. I'm a deity. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between that and that? You know what I mean? Yeah. what, What is at the heart of the matter is, like, you're feeling unfulfilled, and you're trying to fill that void. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. I feel like I am this, not that. Okay, you're trying to fill that feeling with something else Mm -hmm. rather than just being who you are. You know what I mean? We're constantly trying to define things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because if we can define things, we can make it okay in other people's minds. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just like, yeah, I don't know. Because like, like, okay, so, so it's like this. It's like this. Oh, I'm polyamorous. Oh, okay, so you have multiple partners. You... Um, you have no attachment to one person enough that you would be um, monogamous. Right. Right. And they're like, no, I just want to be held down. I'm like, okay, you just disregarded everything I said, which makes like logical sense. Mm -hmm. But like you're trying to justify it now because you feel like you shouldn't be reprimanded for your choices. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's just definitions. It's like, just do you, bro. As long as they're consensual. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, but there's always limits because, like, because well, where do you draw the line? Can mm-hmm. I be like I'm actually I identify as a Super Saiyan? I'm a Saiyan race. As a kid, I always believed I was like, man, I'm like a Saiyan, bro. Mm-hmm, That's mm-hmm. what Filipinos believed, right? They like love Dragon Ball Z so much. Me and Wob like always talked about being Saiyans. But will you call me a Saiyan on my on my race card? No. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's like yeah. where do you draw the line? Right. How come that's okay, but I can't be a Saiyan? Mm-hmm. I want to put Saiyan on my, on my citizenship card. Right, right, right. Yeah, get yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get what you mean. So it's like, it's, it's almost unfair. It's like the, the loud minority, mm. mm-hmm. the vocal minority, as you call them. They're the ones changing culture. Yeah. yeah but it's like yeah. the ones that know that that's kind of, like, why are you focusing your attention on that, bro? Mm-hmm. It's like we don't get what we want like i like why would honest if i lobbied hard enough i could probably get us a, a say in race card really though think about it right yeah, yeah, yeah. if i was just really loud about it and like i got all these people like well if they get that how come we don't get this all right let's stand up for our say in rights they're trying to hold us down a saiyans <laughs> right right you know yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like that's obviously ridiculous yeah so i don't spend my energy trying to do that mm-hmm. yeah yeah makes sense right I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying, what do you want to spend your time doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be upset all the time about being <laughs> undefined correctly? Okay. Be my guest. But there's a reason why we got this podcast going and you who are complaining don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so you have 24 hours a day, bro. Really, gonna, you're going you're gonna to spend most of that day arguing the fact that you feel like X. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if it really matters to you, that's cool. But... I wouldn't want to live my life in a state of feeling underserved. Just go out and get what you want. Well, I guess that you could technically say they're doing that. They're going out and getting what they yeah, want. Yeah, I mean, it could be a privileged state <laughs> when you say that. That's true because it's like, do, like, all right, so having that kind of surgery, to even do that costs a lot of money. Do you think the fisherman who has no money for his kids really cares about that? He cares about making money for his kids. Mm-hmm. So you're lucky that you can think about things in that, that term. Right, yeah. Is yeah. that a right-wing philosophy? Conservative? Maybe. 
I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But then there you go, back to defining things. Human nature is yeah. very interesting. Yeah. We just like to put things in different boxes. Mm. But then when you realize that the box is created by you, create your own box, bro. Like what? Like, do you really want to? I heard this once. It's like, not. I think it's J. Cole. Not only do we have to look at what we're saying, our ideas, we have to challenge those ideas. Because mm-hmm. if you really believe those ideas, look at both sides and be like, do I really believe it? Right. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like the people are like we should kick out all the Mexicans. Do you really believe that, or is that like a a thing you heard, and you're like you're picking sides on a team, and mm-hmm. it's just easier for you to think in team sports than critically think. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, are you just on the bandwagon. Or? Exactly, and then like something else changes, then you'll be back on that bandwagon. But like at the same time, it's like, mm-hmm. just think twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. Anyways, <laughs> that was my rant. All right. I didn't want to end the podcast with a negative rant. That's why I switched it around. I was like, uh, Actually, this would be kind of negative okay. to like end it. I see, I see. Yeah. So, all right, yeah, go. Oh, well, mine is next one is a little bit more political, I guess. Oh, oh, excellent. So yours fed into mine. <laughs> all right, what's up? Well, uh, yeah, it's due to European politics, I guess. Oh, EU politics. You know what's funny? So, like, I was at the tattoo shop yesterday, and the person that was getting the the butt tattoo that I was saying before. Mm-hmm. She's from London and she was saying how messed up it is there. She was like, she's been in Toronto for less than a year, but she just came from London. And then they're like, oh, well, how is it over there? And then they're like, oh, like the government's getting crazy. Well, because of the whole Brexit thing, right? I, get, I, I don't follow it. Yeah, because of the Brexit thing. They oh, want to, okay. like, this is not my topic, but they want to revote. They want to do a revote oh, no on the Brexit. Okay, true. All right, so anyways. Anyways, so this is about the EU politics and copyright laws. Okay. That could potentially affect not Streaming. just the EU, everyone. In the world? Yes. Okay. So how does that... Okay, so it, it's just like... How are you going to affect the world? Okay, you know? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Um, I didn't know this. I heard it yesterday, so I wanted to look more into it. So it's just... It's called Article 13, and basically it's a copyright laws where... Um, uh, like, like how we use on YouTube, yeah, okay. or you live stream on Twitch, uh-huh. and all that stuff could be potentially, um, you'd have to pay a licensing fee. Oh, okay, interesting. For any song that's been played, or okay. any kind of thing that's with the, any like, publishing thing, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And, so basically, Google and other internet activists are this the they're against this because that how are you going to potentially filter this sort of stuff? Right. Right. Because what happens is um, it's now, uh, so for instance, me using YouTube and I put the song on, it's Google is now liable for paying them the rights. Oh, interesting. So they're, they're cracking down on businesses to do the work for them. Yeah. Interesting. All right. That, cool. Yeah. It's like before it would be, they're just, okay, you, you can't um, put this on and... Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, but um, if you force the other businesses to do the work for you, then they're going to be extra cheese. They yeah. want to get it done faster. Yeah. yeah, so this could the basically affect the saying here: free exchange of opinions and cultural opinion. Interesting. Um, uh, yeah, cultural online. Would. I mean, yeah. Uh, so uh, there was a thing people are against trying to get the European Union to go against this and not mm-hmm. vote this in. Um. So it's like me. So I think the example someone brought up was like uh, just m- m- like if I was IRLing, uh, streaming, and oh. uh, I'm at like some uh, restaurant or something, and some song plays, right there, I gotta pay for that. Wow, interesting. So I don't know if that'll go through. That's that's such a headache to deal with. Uh yeah, I don't know. Uh no, I know, but without any light on it, it would have just gone through probably. Yeah, yeah, because there's light on it now, and people are saying we don't want that, or so potentially could change it, or they could change certain laws in that. Yeah. Interesting. So the reason the way it could affect the world is because anyone who deals with the EU will have to also abide by these rules. So like YouTube. Uh no, to any country. If you want to make a no, no, trade deal, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm so I'm saying like YouTube's in that country. Uh, no, 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 no. What do you mean? Like. What I mean is like dealing with the EU, for instance, uh, not not necessarily a platform, like the country. Oh, okay. 
if you're doing trade deals with EU, you got to also abide by this. Oh. So uh, that's okay. where it potentially affects the world. Okay, I understand. Which is a very, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so because EU is a major player. Yeah. Ba- uh, so basically because EU is a major player, they can call the shots like this. Mm-hmm. So it's like our, our laws will reach all of our partners. Well, that's what this, this thing is. It's not, it's not past anything yet. Um, but this is in their thing of Article 13, what's written in there. And so, yeah, so the users upload or publish unlicensed content, such as whatever, even photos, videos, or like s- source code from or music or mm-hmm. anything. That's fascinating. Um, so the, they will require a fee or license fee to be paid. Mm-hmm. to use that mm-hmm. <laughs> and pre-filtered or automatically censored if, if right away mm. so they got a google would have to or youtube would have to create a another algorithm that yeah, does yeah, that yeah, and yeah, then, interesting. It, that's an mm. interesting that's an interesting take on it because i never thought about that it's like oh it's not just like youtube player. like think about it like no, you no, 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 but, but i mean yeah. eu calling the shots yeah. it's like yeah. if you're a major player you can call the shots yeah fascinating and then it's not like so we're just thinking YouTube or Twitch, but it's I'm here saying here like uh, Facebook, mm-hmm. Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the things that you post with videos, no, or of with course, music, yeah, no, no, all yeah, that, yeah, 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 all that. Yeah, yeah. So potentially but, that's what I'm saying. It I affects mean, the whole. Well, what, what they could do is internet. what they could do is just have stricter privacy laws in that country. So it's like like when I post something that has like a song, it'll like it doesn't play in all countries. It says that sometimes. Yeah, I know, I know. Right? And it's like that's all you have to do. But uh, what's more fascinating to me is the fact that this could affect their partners. And I didn't even think like, oh, of course you get to call the shots. Like if America's like when America's like, oh, we're going to, you know, affect our trade deals. The whole world's like, uh oh, yeah. But I didn't think about that. I'm like, yeah, oh, exactly. yeah, yeah, you have the power. Yeah. So like this is uh, honestly the world could change what we view Internet as if, if, if this goes forward. But not in our country. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Our country. But why? It's not streaming in their country. No, 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 no. It's you, if you have any sort of like trade deals with EU, uh-huh. you have to abide by these rules. So you'd have to also do that too. Oh, they're trying to make it universal. Universal. Oh, it's sort of like uh, how U.S. dollars is the primary trade currency. Yeah, yeah. They like they set the standard. So EU is trying to set the standard yeah. for. Uh, mm, I don't know. If that'll pass. Good luck. Well, I mean, that's why a lot of people are against it. Google's against it, and a lot of these. Um, you, you, all right, you know what I find? So, like, you know how, against. like, uh, with the, with the Doug Ford, Rob Ford, Doug Ford. Yeah. Doug Ford. Doug Ford. Yeah. Doug Ford. So how he's like doing that like um, education ban thing. Okay. Yeah. So like. I don't know if it's education ban. What do you like mean? Like a not sorry not an education ban. It's like we're not gonna pay for you anymore. Huh? The paying for schools. Oh. The lower income. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, yeah, sorry, education ban was the incorrect <laughs> Uh No, 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 it's it's like how they're just, like, not um, paying for your school. Yeah. Right? Um, I was thinking about this, and it's like, even though people are upset, somebody's going to fix that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if people are upset enough, like, it's not really my worry yeah, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? Know, it's like, know, know. it's like it doesn't really affect me because I don't. I'm not in school. But if I was in school, I'd probably be lobbying against this. Yeah. So, it'll all work out in the end. That's how I feel <laughs> about like all this stuff. It's like, it's like, oh, the EU, this. It's like, yeah, nah, I'm sure somebody will figure that out. Somebody will like fix that. But I guess well, that ha- kind of mentality happening. is like, yeah. like, why Trump is in presidency? But I don't think so because I think. Trump got voted in for a reason. Like people, like when people are like, oh, how could they vote? I'm like, well, look at the society you've built. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, how could we have Trump for president? It's like, yeah, he's just, he's who you chose, man. Like, mm-hmm. this is your choice. Just don't vote that way next time. It just says something it, more about your society yeah, yeah, yeah. versus like, how could we let this happen? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. maybe that's the the loud liberal side. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Is it liberal? Democrat? I don't know. I don't follow politics that much. Y- you know how I see politics? Politics is like a weird game that humans have created. Mm-hmm. It's like, I just don't, I prefer not to deal in that game. 
But right. it affects your life. It doesn't really. I guess it does, but it can. That, all right, that, that's like saying that's like saying everyone should be a holistic nutritionist. Right. Because it affects your life, bro. It like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like this is, again another silly thing about our species, but it's like. People are like, oh, you should pay more attention to politics because it affects your life. You should pay more attention to nutrition then. You should pay more attention to exercise. Mm-hmm. Like, those things really matter. You should pay more attention to what you like to do in school. Yeah. You know, like, we've, we've given ourselves team sports to focus on so we mm-hmm. don't have to focus on the things that really matter, which is what are you doing with your life and do you want to do that? You know what I mean? Yeah, People yeah, just, yeah. like, fall into a lull. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's a side tangent from what you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that that's basically it. And it's just like it's an interesting thing that could potentially affect everywhere. But I think there's already a lot of people fighting against it, so mm-hmm. that I mean there's even certain EU, EU countries that are already fighting against it or right. wanting, wanting to pass that already. So looks like it, we might be on the good side. I mean, on the right side. Like mm. like it might be changing, so it's not all mm. lost yet, I guess. Not all hope is lost. Right, 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 right. Hmm, fascinating. Yeah, it's an interesting. Yeah, I, that, 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 I found that more fascinating in terms of like how we operate as a species. Mm-hmm. You know. Okay. Yeah. All right. So speaking of how we operate as species, dun 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 dun. Final topic: cowboy bebop. Oh. Okay. So I didn't know your topic. So. Yeah. Uh, so I'm <laughs> almost done. Okay. I didn't like it. So people were always talking about Cowboy Bebop, like especially the martial arts academy that I went to in the beginning. They were like, yeah. oh my god, you should watch Cowboy Bebop. This one guy was like really into it. And I was like, eh. I watched it. I was more into like Samurai. So Samurai Champloo was more, because it was the same mm. creator, Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo. Okay. Um, but I was like, I don't get Cowboy Bebop. I don't like it. Right. <laughs> and then I watched this like video explaining Cowboy Bebop and how it's all about. The whole primary purpose of the show is to show you like how futile life is. Yeah. But, okay, so what I find fascinating is you really like space shows. Yes. So I just recently really got into Cowboy Bebop. Like, I, I see the genius now. Mm-hmm. It's a social commentary. Okay. If you use... So, like, they're on the spaceship, and they have to do odd jobs to get money to keep uh-huh. their spaceship going. Uh-huh. It's kind of like how we have this apartment. We all go live our daily lives to get money to yeah. sustain our lives in this apartment. Okay. Same thing they're doing. Mm-hmm. But we, we call it space shows, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like... If you're in a space show, you can have, like, more futuristic things and talk about society in a specific way, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Um, they often make a lot of references to, like, things that we think are weird or interesting in society, but without saying it. Yes. But what you said is, like, that's how space shows are. Yeah. Like, you liked Battlestar Galactica, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got, I got kind of into it, but you, like, love that show, but... You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, could you explain your like ration, like when you were like, oh, they're. Yeah, it's, it's why I liked it. Or... Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because it was, it was, it was filled with whole all the things of politics, social commentary, religion, everything that we deal with, in a, in a show. Yeah, but then if you, you know, if you get to call it like a space show, then people don't take it as seriously. Right. It's sort of like comedians who are like... Well, like, when you say it's a space show, people already don't take it seriously. Exactly. Though. And that's the genius of this Cowboy Bebop show. Yeah. You know, okay. like, it, it's, it's like it's like being a comedian. Because comedians, they can say whatever they want. Because at the end of the day, like, what am I talking about? I'm, I'm a comedian. I'm mm-hmm. dumb. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't really study this stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. You get yourself a social out. But if you're like a... If you're like a actual scientist or something, something like noteworthy, mm-hmm. then if you say something crazy, then you can't be like, well, I'm dumb. Because like, wait, no, you're an educator. You can't be dumb. Right, right, right. You know, they can push, like comedians and space shows can push the boundaries of how we think. Yeah. Again, I had no idea about this before. This is the genius of this show and thematically other shows like it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like what they really go over in the show that I really like is how like, how like so like they tackle a lot of things so one of the things is the main characters all think they're being held down by something in their past and like the whole show is about like overcoming their past to keep moving forward and the the main Mm -hmm. tagline is you're going to carry that weight okay and what it means is like you're going to carry your your decision into the future Mm -hmm. you know whatever choice you make there's going to be weight associated with it and you have to carry that weight yeah yeah i really like that and like um the other character, the main character, he believes he's already dead because he, like, got his eye blown out in a shootout. 
So he's like, I'm seeing the past and the future at mm-hmm. the same time. Yeah. And what he means by that is like, one eye is dead, so he's seeing the past. Yeah. Because he lost that, oh, eye. Okay. and then he's seeing the future, which is now through his his clear eye. Yeah. You know, and that's why, like when you see the show, you're like, oh, he's in these like precarious situations, but he's mm. very devil may care. He's like, oh, whatever. We're all gonna die eventually. He always keeps saying that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. And it's like that's the, that's like actual sage advice. Mm-hmm. Like okay. a sage is a holy right, person, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. actual sage advice oh. from yeah, this character right, because yeah. it's like all the ancient texts talk about that all the time. Like mm. live as if you're already dead and then you'll know what true living really means mm-hmm. because you'll have no fears holding you back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? Right. And then like more contemporarily, like there's like quotes, like uh, if you only live once, but if you live right once is enough, mm-hmm. you know, like, yeah. we, we know this as a species, but it's like, it's hard to say these things, but like, this is what I like programming, like subconscious programming. If you look at, We've talked about something similar in the past, but if you look at like Asian cultures, mm-hmm. which is where anime came from, they try and program their their uh, civilization yeah. appropriately using characters that harbor good values. Mm-hmm. You know, whereas like Western societies, like what do we watch as children? The Blues Clues. What was that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, the Asians spend more time, like, with anime and, like, Dragon Ball Z, like, uh-huh. overcoming yeah, yeah, yeah. difficulty and sh- stuff like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. I just find it fascinating. <laughs> so if you're listening to this, watch Cowboy Bebop. It's a really good show. You have to look at it not as the show. You have to look at it, what is this show trying to tell me? Right. Or not, because some people don't like that. Watch Blue's Clues, then, <laughs> if you don't want to think. True. Yeah, it's yeah. up to you. Um, yeah, I think that was all I had about that. Cowboy Bebop. I'll watch it, but I gotta I need good quality. Good quality. Yeah, it was on Netflix, but now I'm just streaming on YouTube. Oh. But you will probably stop that in the future. Oh no no no! no. <laughs> it's their own content. It's fine. Oh okay. They have licensing fees. They what? already pay for the license. Well. Uh, Cowboy Bebop? No, no, no. Wait, wait, I'm talking about Netflix. I'm, t- no, I'm talking about Cowboy Bebop. Oh. No, because it's like... Oh, right, right, The okay. stuff I'm watching is like YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, episodes yeah. are on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you just watch there. I don't know. You mentioned Netflix, so I was stuck on that. Oh, yeah. No. Piracy's going to stop. Anyways, uh, final thoughts, Fish? No, I mean, that's it. I don't know. <laughs> that's a good way to end Go it. Go fight that Article 13. I don't know. What's that? Oh, the EU thing? <laughs> oh. Um, I'm going to say watch Cowboy Bebop. YouTube.com slash. Well, yeah, watch it. Actually, I don't remember the before guy's. Before it's all gone. Yeah, before it's all gone. <laughs> I'm baiting out this guy's scene right now. Um, but yeah, if you just type in Cowboy Bebop episodes, you can watch it. Yeah. There's a guy. I forgot his like handle, but he has all the episodes there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Bait out your scene. Blocked. But thank you for putting it up. Okay. It that's how you change cultures, man. Like, you mm-hmm. gotta educate them when they're young, but you gotta educate them to the right things. Okay. Yeah. You know, like I often find like, like there are like certain circles of people that I like, mm-hmm. and like we, we harbor the same values because we brought up similarly watching the same kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you and I. Yeah. You know. I think educating your children is a very important thing. Okay. Yes. Because it sets the foundation for the rest of their lives. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can't That's all. disagree with you on that. Yeah. Avatar, Cowboy Bebop, Avatar, Airbender. Yeah, that was an American, though. But that was good. That was yeah, but good. it was like, it was in the Very style. influenced by, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I have a tattoo of it, you know? like Right. Which I thought was kind of cool because, like, those who know, know. So, like, as I was getting my other one, mm-hmm. the, the one artist was like, is that a white lotus? And I was like, yeah. And then my, my artist was like, oh, what? And then she's like, oh, haven't you watched Avatar? He's like, oh, the blue people? And I'm like, no, blue bro. <laughs> I didn't hey, think for a second what blue people. It was people. very funny. Yeah, no, Airbender. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. But, yeah. Avatar, Airbender, Avatar the Airbender, Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Champloo, Roroni Kenshin, Dragon mm-hmm. Ball Z, Mm-hmm. Uh, Baki Hanma, Street mm-hmm. Fighter 2B. Mm-hmm. Basically, check out uh, 
series dot gauntlet by fire dot com. They're there. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna go now. Take it easy. Peace. Is there a movie coming out next week? I don't know. Oh, I saw Us. And not good. Uh. Uh-uh. Like visually, it's amazing, but uh. it couldn't hold my attention. It wasn't like it was Did trying you... to be like good Get Out. Like they're trying to be like super weird. Mm-hmm. But it was like it was just so weird that I was like pass. Threw you off. Yeah, it threw me off. But the visuals are really good. Like he's a great art director. Okay. Like for filming it that way. Right. Whatever. All right. Enough from us. Take it easy. Peace. Play video games. Bye.